Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Katherine Young and I'm a creative. And you have landed in my 30 Days Thrifting Goodwill series. If you'd like to check out more episodes, I will link them up here as well in the description. And today we are in St. Paul on University Avenue and we are gonna check out a two-story Goodwill. I don't often find um, much here, to be honest. Uh, they have a lot of inventory, a lot of stock, but just tends to not be stuff that I'm personally interested in. But let's go in and see what they have in store. Goodwill is one of the most common thrift store chains across the US. And here in the Twin Cities, Minnesota, we have a lot of them. And I asked y'all if you would like a thrifting series in Goodwill and well, by overwhelming majority, you said yes. So come along with me as we go thrifting here in the land of 10,000 lakes. We'll go from store to store, a new store each day, and we'll find some amazing vintage deals, some items we can quickly flip for a profit, and some items to collect. We'll also find some surprises along the way. <laughs> So join me for 30 days thrifting Goodwill. Let's see what's in store. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready to roll. <laughs> okay, so this is a two-story Goodwill. So this first story, the lower level, is all home goods. So let's start in the wood section. And right off, I see this really cute decoration. Looks kind of like a tourist piece. I thought it was super cute. And then I saw this. And this is actually kind of awesome for the price. Look at that. You can make your own Bob Marley t-shirts. Yes. <laughs> uh, continuing on in the wood section, Name that Aerosmith song. Dream until your dreams come true. Come on, people. Name that Aerosmith song. I want it in the comments. I want it in the comments, okay? Um, I like this. These were very popular in the mid-century. Um, they're, they're cute. Um, you know, they took the old images and put them on these wood plaques. And if I hadn't have seen this, I wouldn't have seen what is next to it. And I am... So excited I found this. Oh my goodness, y'all. I've been looking for this for well over a year. Well over a year. And I could never find this. And oh my goodness, it's so inexpensive. This is awesome. So I almost bought one at Michael's for almost $50, y'all. But I held out. I held out. And it is officially in the cart and I just want to show you how I styled this in my home. I used it as a shelf for my pixies because I wanted my personal collection off of my shelves out of the view of viewers on my YouTube videos and it works perfectly and I'm super duper happy. I really liked this jewelry case but it has been through a lot. Um, it yeah it just it has I was trying to see what is behind it there. I like this bread box too. I think that's pretty neat. They have a lot of vintage in the wood section. I'm pretty impressed with that. I see these Holland shoes everywhere. <laughs> oh, hey, that is two points. That is double praying hands. <laughs> Anyone watch Crazy Lamp Lady? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I absolutely and utterly regret not taking that home. What was I thinking? That was God's thrift gift to me. <laughs> All right, here we are over in the artwork section. The artwork section is one of my absolute favorite sections to go to. This is an older print. Uh, the frame is older too. Um, I really do like this piece. Um, I'm checking for the price. I'm sorry I didn't get it on camera, but but it is rather large, so I am going to leave this piece, but I really liked it. There are what appears to be a few originals here, which are kind of fun. 
Um, I bet that's the same person who donated the Bob Marley transfers. <laughs> I loved that, right? Oh, the velvet and it's like Don Quixote. That's really cool, right? And well, hello, kitty. <laughs> I saw this piece and this is an original. It's really neat. It looks like a like decor sketch of somebody's wedding arrangement flowers. I just thought it was interesting that that's a piece of art someone had framed. It must have been personal. They had some really lovely pieces. Like look at that. That was super interesting. That was an original. I don't know anything about this piece, so I left it, but just super interesting, right? Yeah, I, I hope somebody comes along and takes that. That is that is really fantastic. This is an original. Um, these are often done for tourists at the beach. I can feel the paint, so I know it is an original. It's very beautiful. Behind it is a is a mountain scene, and that is an original too. Both of these pieces were very, very large. I can't take them. Now, this is an original as well. These were very common in the mid-century. Um, again, this is ginormous. I cannot take this piece. Um, it's just too big. I thought this little shell thing was also kind of neat. I don't know. I don't really understand what it is. And then back here, I was seeing some more vintage prints, actually. Um, that was kind of neat. And I think there might be an original back there, but it was, it's kind of hard to get to. You know what I mean? Things are just stacked a little, a little too tight, you know, and you can't get to things. Now up here, these feel like actual originals, but I think they are mass produced by artists. Um, very large yet again, and there was a whole series and these were all in Paris. I thought they were really cool, but there's really nothing I can do with them because they're so huge. But um, as you can see, the painting does go over the edge. Um, but yeah, I spent a long time thinking about these because I thought they were lovely and striking, but I left them there for someone else. And I thought this was just the cutest dang thing, is it not? Ugh, so adorable, so sweet. It has a lot of stains, so I did leave it, but I thought it was just the cutest darn thing. I love these old trunks. They're really not worth that much anymore, and you can find them at Goodwills all the time. Um, I do believe somebody painted that gold on there. I don't think it was actually like that originally. And I love when you look inside these and they have like the images on the cover. Yeah, $14.99 is, is basically what I see for these trunks, which is unfortunate, but they're um, just a really big piece of furniture. And with that rounded top, they're not super convenient. Looking at this end cap, I really liked that mug. I thought it was really neat. Isn't that different? It's a mustache mug and the scene on it was just really different. I really loved that. Y'all know I'm a sucker for a teapot. <laughs> you know it. So I had to pick this up and check it out a little bit. <laughs> a beautiful transferware piece. There's a lot of vintage here. Look at all this vintage we're finding on this end cap. This is beautiful, right? Ah, oh, can you see that in a 70s kitchen? Oh my goodness, I can. And that is an amazing price. Okay, I actually regret not picking this up. Now we're going down the dish aisle. Those are really lovely. They kind of remind me of Red Wing Pottery. Not sure the maker. I didn't check it out. And I thought those were super beautiful. I do believe them to be modern and maybe like a pure one type thing, but I still thought they were really pretty. That is just weird enough to be interesting, right? <laughs> oh, look at it. It's a lonely shaker. Um, I actually have these shakers. I picked them up um, recently and they look really cute in my hutch. 
So I have the pair. That was just a single. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was really neat. It is technically a fairy lamp. And look at it, it's got a frog and all kinds of things going on. I thought it was really cool, but it's just huge. And I just didn't want to store something like that. But I did think it was really, really neat. Now we're on the other side of the plate aisle. They have a lot of plates and a lot of vintage patterns, it appears. Wow. Oh, there's that cup. Dang, I think I found the saucer at a different Goodwill store and put it back. <laughs> In fact, I'm almost positive I did. That's really funny. That's a neat piece. Look, there's some Franciscan. Great price on some Franciscan. This is restaurant wear. I just thought it was really interesting, the design on it, but it's definitely restaurant wear. Super duper thick. I liked the colors on that. It, it feels Italian to me or maybe Portugal. Thought it was very beautiful. Now we are in the knickknack aisle. I do warn you, this aisle tends to have a lot of broken things. I have noticed that here, that a lot of things are broken. These little home co angels would have had a third angel. So whenever you see those home co with the bottom is kind of marked home co or with like an X, just know there should be three. They always made them in threes. This was beautiful, but there was a huge chunk missing off the top. So... For $5.99, I'm not picking it up because it is broken. But that is a cool find. I think this is really lovely. It reminds me of Lefton. I'm a sucker for trinket boxes. Love that. Super duper cute. These are just neat. I just thought they were um, neat nativity figures. I just liked the glaze on them. Just thought it was something different. I thought that was really beautiful. Of course, it's modern, but it was still really pretty. Home goods. Home goods. Yep. I liked that. The big apple cookie jar. Not a bad price. Ugh, but a big old chip. So nothing I can really do with that with a big old chip. And things like that are really hard to store. They take up a lot of space and you can't set anything on top of them, you know. Oh, I like that. That shell piece. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> Too bad it was broken. Oh, and look at that. I think that might be left in. No mark, but yeah, I think this piece might be left in. I recognize those, those standout pieces. Oh, and look at these cuties. Oh, they're little souvenir uh, redware. How cute. I don't do a lot with salt and pepper shakers, but I do think those are cute. Next, we are over in their vase section. They actually have a lot of really striking vases. I do believe this might have been in pulley, but I think it would have had a lid. Yeah, I do think they have a lot of like really nice striking pieces. Like you could take some of these big ones and set them on the floor somewhere and they would look really good. Thought that was an interesting one. I was trying to see who made it, but the sticker was over it. That was a weird one. I have a feeling it was some kind of weird liquor brand, but I just, I truly don't know. And then I just wanted to show this guy because he makes me laugh. <laughs> hey, dude, I feel you. <laughs> Um, here is the rest of the knickknack aisle. It kind of goes into like candles too. 
that looks like a gym shore. I did look this up and her hand is broken, so nothing I can really do with that. There is a planter that is a pheasant, but it's kind of dinged up. Thought that little skull was kind of cool. Modern, but he's he's still he's still kind of a fun piece. Not seeing anything I'm super excited about. I do really like her. Often I see these as hobbyist pieces, and this one um, is not a hobbyist piece. It is actually kind of that like that paper pulp material, that composite. I did like this, but I didn't see very much profit in it, and it had a lot of patina, like beyond what I think people would like. Now I'm over in the metal section, and this is one of those kind of like cool music box thingies. Um, the music box is missing, but I thought that was kind of fun. That's interesting, that head. I love the little chuck wagon. Fun fact about me, I know how to set up a chuck wagon and grew up with a chuck wagon in the back of my grandma's backyard. And that is a cool um, one as well. I like that. Lots of clear glass and glasses. That is an oldie. You can even see the slight purpling to it. That is a true antique goblet. And it looks like there was one more back there, but they both have a lot of damage. This probably went to one of those snack sets, but I like the handle, the little bubbles. I think that's super cute. This is a different end cap of clear glass. And what do you know? It is part of a fairy lamp. I looked for the other part the whole time, y'all, and I never found it. So here is an entire aisle now of clear glass. <laughs> there is a lot here, a lot here. Now looking through here, what do you see? There it is. There is a fairy lamp bottom and there is a fairy lamp top. So unfortunately they're priced individually. It wasn't worth it for me um, with the two prices priced individually. Also, they didn't fit perfectly. So I think that's a marriage. I don't even think they are supposed to go together because it didn't fit that great when I set it down. I thought this piece was really pretty. I love these snack trays in that atomic shape. God, they're so cute. Y'all, we need to bring back the snack trays because they are the best. Thought that was a cute bottle. There's some snack tray action happening there. Y'all, it's a turkey toilet. If you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment. <laughs> now we are in more serving wear. I thought that was really neat. It's it's modern, but I still thought it was just kind of striking and different. Loved that piece. Again, modern, but I just, it was very organic. I really, really liked it. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, I'm such a sucker for these plates. I, I just think they're so fun. These fun mid-century like map plates. Oh, they're so cute. I have a bunch for my plate wall project. And this is the lamp graveyard. It's looking very lamp graveyardy, huh? Very spooky. Ghosts of lamps past. Yeah, there's damage on that. But yeah, this is this is crazy lamp lady nightmares, folks. <laughs> and y'all, I had to go up to the second floor because if you know me, you know why I had to go to the second floor, right? What was missing from this video? Looking around, the second floor has a lot of, lot of clothes and things like that. And um, of course it has the purses. Of course I had to go check the purses. So I went upstairs, 
to check the purse section for vintage purses. I'm always on the hunt. I have not had good luck so far in this series, but one of these days we will. One of these days we will find one, maybe. <laughs> oh, I thought this was neat. It looked very like 90s, 80s to me. Let's go over to the other section. Do our due diligence with the purses. <laughs> mm, not seeing much, folks. Not seeing much. That is old, but it's in bad condition. And it's not old enough. I like, I like them older than that. And I was just about to head out and I saw this really cute Christmas album over um, in the record section. I was walking by and it was just right up front. And the record is red. I think this is great for decor. So I picked it up on my way out. Okay, so I think we did fairly well in there. I'm really excited about this cute little record. I just picked this up for display. Thought the graphics were really cute. And the record inside, again, is red with cute little graphics. I just thought it was cute for display. So that I will be keeping for my Christmas decorations. And then I'm really excited about this shelf. I actually almost bought the exact same thing at Michael's. I mean, really, really close to this, um, but it was ex exceptionally expensive. And I just decided no, because it was so expensive. And this only cost me $3.99. So um, I've been looking for a shelf like this for a project for quite some time. And I'm excited that I found it here. So if you enjoy thrifting, vintage, creative projects, and more, please subscribe. Check out all that I do on this channel. I do so much more than shop alongs. I'd love to have you. And if you subscribe, you will be the first to know when I upload another video. And that is it, y'all. Stay creative. Bye.